Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. First dungeon in the game, the Eastern Palace, begin. So he's got the little switch there under that pot, but let's first go over to this side. Oh no, it's a dead end. It's, it's just a tragedy. It's terrible. It's awful. All right, let's go to let's go to this end instead. Oh no, it's another dead end. So yeah, there's only one path. <laughs> so it kind of sort of kind of makes you check the pots, see how to progress forward. And these squiggly things, yeah, see these? They they are very weird. They kind of kind of frightening actually. I I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna touch because I know. I know what tentacles can do. I've seen fan arts, and uh, well, I, I they're known as popos. And uh, I, oh, jeez, oh no, they're coming towards me. Eh, 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 eh. They're very weak, actually. <laughs> just kid, gets just dies by one sword slash. Now beware this room, for there are marbles. Coming for you! Okay, they're more than just marbles. They're balls. And there's also a big ball that comes over every so often, so be wary of that. Um, what should I go for? I think I'm gonna go around this way here. And, and, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Get this treasure chest. 100 rupees. And there's also some rupees under these pots as well. So it's like a treasure cove of sorts that you can see when you enter this place, basically. It's also a shortcut back uh, to the start, so you don't have to worry about the balls. And that, uh, this pathway over here with that, with that locked door up there, not really something that you have access to just yet. It's a crisscross path to another way, basically. Alright, so now we got two paths going on here. There's a left path and the right path. I think I am going to take the right path first. Perhaps, maybe, I think that is correct. I'm not sure, actually. I kind of forgot uh, which path I would like to take first for optimum efficiency, I guess you could say. I'm gonna go take both paths anyway, but, you know, it's it's just a thing of, yeah, let's, let's take care of them. By the way, these skeletons are known as Staphos, and there's various colors with various abilities, and that, those, there's, they're kind of annoying. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Stop that. Go away, Popo. No one. And I mean no one likes, oh, oh, anti-fairy. Uh, if they hit you, they will sap your magic power, and you do not want that. Magic power is nice. It powers many things in the game. So, yeah, I want to come through here because uh, get the map, oh yeah, oh yeah, and then we can see the whole dungeon by pressing X now. Um, if you don't have the map, the dungeon is going to sort of kind of draw itself as you go, but uh, the map just makes it, you know, a whole lot easier to navigate around, basically. Well, for the most part, I mean, some dungeons are just... Kind of, kind of mean. I'm experiencing some odd amounts of lag again. How delightful! Uh, maybe it's not emulators. Maybe it's PC gaming. PC gaming is sometimes the pits because of that sort of thing. And okay, now I'm gonna take the left path. So I was correct about taking the right path first because that's essentially a dead end. So yeah, stop that! No, stop that. <laughs> These guys are just the worst. The worst, I tell you. I don't think I have to kill these guys, actually. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything here. Because I don't remember if any of them drop something offhand. I don't think they do. No, they don't. Okay. Just got to be sure, because sometimes enemies, you've seen, they sometimes have some stuff. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of this room. I don't like this. Uh-oh. 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 Hmm. Yeah, let's go up here. Oh! Invasion! Yeah, there's like a little trigger point if you try to go to that top door there. <laughs> any, any room that you get locked in, never a good sign, especially when there's bones and stuff on the ground. Never a good sign either. <laughs> Although, these might be staffles that other adventurers have defeated in the past. Because they really aren't all that difficult to defeat, they're just really, really annoying to defeat them. Alright, so I got the compass, and this shows you where ye old bosses. See the skull flashing on the second floor? Yup. 
Yup. Yup. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty. Moving on. Link, it is I. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here's a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Interesting. Interesting. Eh. Eh. Ah, this plate. This path is useless, so I'll have to see this other way here. Alright, be careful of those uh, green statues. They are actually Igors. They are vulnerable to your sword, but, you know, they are the ambush type of enemy, so... That's why I like to say be careful to them. They take a load of hits, though, by the way. <laughs> is that... no, no, bad. Bad Staffels. Okay, we're good. <laughs> eh, 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 um, I don't know why I'm bothering to kill them actually, because I'm gonna I'm gonna be resetting them anyway, because I want to go down here. Uh, but first, let's get out the uh, oops, whoa, 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 bug catching nuts, and fall down here. Why do I want to fall down here? You're gonna see very shortly. Fairies, catch them, catch them, catch them, catch them, yeah. And they, I, I don't know if this is a purposeful misspelling or not, or if it's a joke misspelling or something, but you know, it, or it's an actual mistake misspelling, but it's. Yeah, it's F-A-E-R-I-E. -E. <laughs> I will keep it in a bottle and when- Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'll, I'll be able to reset them here. Those are like teleportation tiles that bring you out here. And both these torch-like portals or holes to another room just resets the fairies anyway. So it's not really that big of a deal. I got two bottles, so I'm getting two fairies. So yeah. Alrighty, moving on with the groove on. By the way, that big chest in the center, as delightful as it may seem to open, you can't really open it until you get the big key. You've seen the big key, right? The big key is the big key that opened uh, the Zelda door, uh, Zelda dungeon cell back at uh, uh, the castle. But, you know, each big key has its own combination lock. I should say big. Uh, each lock has its own combination big key type thing. So, yeah, out of my way. Hit that switch. Go in here quickly before the anti-fairies get to you because they're really annoying. Because otherwise you're going to have to do laps around the room. It's way, way easier to... To kill Staffels and you throw pots at them because they don't jump out of the way when you do. Uh, oh, pfft. Well, I said it's way, way easier, but it's not. It's not super easy. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to come in here because, as you've seen, there's a key under that pot near the upper right corner. Now I go and flop around this way, out of my way. I want that. I want that. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Yes, I want that. I'm going around just to get that five ruby, <laughs> and now I can open this door. And here we are back at the start, or at least it seems like it. Actually, it's just a pathway around over to a new area of the dungeon. Ooh, exciting! Now, kill all the enemies in this room and something good will happen. And by something good, I mean something annoying. <laughs> so what'll happen is those uh, anti-fairies swarming around that chest uh, will dissipate and roam around the room, bouncing uh, at 45 degree angles, just like any other anti-fairy. Uh, but right now they're guarding that chest like no one has ever guarded a chest before. Stop, stop it. Nope. <laughs> and I want to kill them off because this is the room where you get the big key in. And I am most certainly going to get that big key if I can help it. And I'd like to get this guy over at something... Something sort of kind of... You know, this way, this way. I was going to say something that... It's kind of vertical, which I can't bump him around all that much in. <laughs> so when I slash the sword at the poor Igor, it just bounces around like a beach ball. <laughs> look out, look out, look out! Okay, we're good. <laughs> Picking this up. Well, it's, oh, wait, that's right, it's not a chest. It's a, yeah, it's a pot, and that contains a switch underneath it. And that has a big key that pops out of a chest that appears out of thin air when you hit the switch. Now, that appears to be it here. Now, what can we first do with this big key? Take a shortcut back. <laughs> uh, what I mean by shortcut back is remember this, those blocks that I couldn't get through before? Look at that, look at that. It's just um, Im Im remarkable, isn't it? Such a great dungeon flaw. <laughs> Perfection. All right, now we go up here. We can open this because we got the big key. I got the bow. Remember, I got, got some arrows here. Well, let's just equip this right away. And, oh no, not the Staphos with 
mysteriously disappearing bodies and their heads that they throw at you. What shall I do? Well, I can sort of kind of repel them until they go away entirely. Yeah, that's what this yellow version of the Staffos does. That's pretty much it. Um, this I go right here. Look at that! One shot now! Because of the bow. Sensational. <laughs> That's gonna speed things along so much. Alright, let's move up here. Don't waste your arrows though. We're gonna need the arrows for something. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah! I've seen you get- seen you come alive. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh! I accidentally killed that other one. Hey, hey. Hey you. How's it going? Yeah! Take that. Alright, I got the key. I can move on. Wait, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whenever there's a bunch of torches, light them all just in case. Because you never know if that's going to trigger something. I don't think anything gets triggered on this particular room. No, it doesn't. But I just wanted to be sure. Now, over here is a dead-end room, but it's got some goodies. By goodies, I mean a bunch of rupees. Do you dare collect them? I dare collect them! <laughs> Yeah, that's the idea of this here, is to get these, well, you can see the best that, well, uh, uh, torches are going in the other room, basically. That's really why I lit them. I, th I thought that you wouldn't get anything from them, it's just that I wanted to get all of them lit, to give myself the maximum amount of light for that room. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh. Okay, I'm looking for a switch. There it is! <laughs> okay, get out of here. We're good, we're good. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, I unleashed two at once. Oh no! <laughs> oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I'm trapped. Oh 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 oh! Oh, that's the one I needed. But I want to sort of kind of kill the other ones here. Yeah, yeah, ha! <laughs> Just for kicks. Yeah, these are all fake four switches here. All right, look out! Look out! Lock out! Hurry! 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 Hit that switch! Go! 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 Yeah, I know it's that switch. Always that switch. And here's a red Igor, it takes two arrows instead of one, and it's only vulnerable to arrows, so you cannot uh, get any further without defeating this stinker. Yep, look at that. And we're going in to another room with now two of these critters. I'm, seeing, I'm gonna see if I can unleash one at a time here, if at all possible. Can I do that though? I doubt it. Nope, I cannot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They both got one hit. Yeah. Okay, one more, and I will take those ten arrows with me to the boss room. Because I'm finishing this dungeon in a single part, apparently. <laughs> and there's really nothing else to collect. Behold, Armos! Knights! And while you can't attack them with your sword, it is far, far easier to take care of these with your uh, arrows, in all honesty. But I'm just gonna... Trying to, uh, I'm gonna show you that sword method first here. When they uh, sort of charge at you in the line here, you're gonna have to kill off one of them, or, you, <laughs> or you're gonna take a hit. Yeah, and the reason why it's easier to kill them with the arrows is because you just go like this from a distance at a safe corner, and yeah, <laughs> there's many ways to take on one of the easiest bosses in the game, and it should be the easiest boss in the game. It is the first dungeon's boss, after all. Alright. Yeah. Take that. And that. And that. And that's some more. Yes. But I'm considering my arrows for the uh, final phase. Because uh, it's just, again, a little bit easy with the arrows. And it's it's sometimes hard to hit the, la the final phase one. Uh, you'll see in just a sec here. There's always going to be one left over. It's impossible to kill them all at once, to my knowledge. So once you do that, um, what's going to happen is they are going to get... Well, well the remaining one is going to get pretty mad. And uh, come on now here. <laughs> how many... How many more hits? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? How many hits does it take to take care of our most knights? Mm, okay, so what you want to do here is let them pass above you and then shoot behind you. See that? Look at that. Look at that rhythm. It's a pretty simple little rhythm that you can use to defeat this guy relatively easily. <laughs> I beat the dungeon in a single part! <laughs> he won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to... Two pendants remain. And we're teleported outside. So now on our way back, we can take a little shortcuts. We can go down here. And we can go down here. 
And we get out on here. Oh yeah, it's so convenient. <laughs> I just want to do this little bit of dialogue, and then I'll end off the parts. Okay. All right. Oh, you got the pendant of courage. Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of the Hylia. These knights of High Rule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War against evil that took place, and the Seven Wise Men created their seal. Among the descendants of the Knights of High Rule, a hero must appear. I see. Link, I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the Wise Men. I want you to have it. And yes, you need these to finish the game. You got the Pegasus Shoes! Hold the E button for a short time. A helpful item is hidden in the cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. Get it? Yeah, that's what they do. What's, what's that gonna do? Find out later in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. By the way, by the way, by the way, by the way. Yep.